Well, what is going on? It looks like you guys are headed out steelhead fishing. Today, we're gonna cover the basics of steelhead plunking like this rig right here. This is an excellent rig to know for if you just wanna show up to the river, sit out a chair, throw the rod out and just simply wait for the bite. We'll show you a couple different ways to maximize your success. Now, as you can see, the plunking rig is pretty relatively simple as far as our main line coming down to a three-way swivel, running down to a large weight to plant on the bottom, and then a leader coming off our third three-way swivel out to a spin and glow or some kind of plug. Now, I definitely would recommend the spin and glow as one of your plunking rigs. It's a tried and true method that has worked for a really long time. There's a few different ways that you can do the spin and glow. You can actually purchase pre-made spin and glows, but typically most steelhead waters do not allow you to use the treble hook. An alternative is you can actually buy the spin and glow drifting rigs, even though it's packaged and labeled for walleye. This is still an effective plunking rig for steelhead, but I'll show you how to tie this up all by yourself so you don't have to buy this pre-tied rig. Spin and glows can be purchased individually at most of your tackle retailers like these ones here. The first thing we do is simply tie a hook to the end of our leader, slip on our bead, then put on our spin glow, slip another bead on, and finally we just wanna add a bobber stopper and we wanna slide that bobber stopper just a couple of inches above the spin glow setup and this will just keep the spin glow from being able to really go anywhere and wrap around the leader. Now you don't always have to use a spin and glow. You could most certainly use something like a plug or a wobbler. One issue that you may definitely run into though is, is that most wobblers are going to come with treble hooks and a lot of steelhead regulations require that you swap out the hooks for individual single hooks like on this plug. Another thing to keep in mind if you're gonna switch this to a plug is you may have to put a heavier weight to make sure that it stays put because the plug is going to move it around a lot. So this is our completed rig. We just simply got the main line to the three-way, down to our weight, and out to our plug or our spin and glow. I hope this maximizes your success, guys. I bet you another awesome tip that you guys would like is if you ever go float fishing for steelhead, here's a great video on how to never lose your float ever again. Until next time, guys, stay fishy. We'll see you.